Here we are. Hello. Hello. How are y'all doing today? Wow. Super bright lights. Yes. Can y'all see us and hear us okay? I hope you can see us because the sun is shining on us right now. Bright light. Very bright light. How are you guys? Oh, I don't have the chat pulled up. Rookie mistake. And it's going to be... No, I think I have it muted. I do I? Mind, mind. What did I do? I did something. Well, we're going to talk about our two different cruises. Adventure of the Seas and uh, Carnival Vista. Mm -hmm. If you have any specific questions, please tag me or Caplock question or Robert or something so we can uh, find it. And if we miss it, just please, say it again. Just yeah. say it again. I'm sorry about Miss Addie. Yeah. She is, she is down there. Panting breathing. away. <laughs> breathing very heavy. Yes. Oh, I forgot my little cover so I don't have to look at my face. How do you make it go down here on the bottom, honey? Just right there. Uh -huh. Pop out chat. Oh, look at you. Thank you. Yes. But then you can't tell if you have an issue. That is true. So, well, I guess we can look and look people say, yeah. hey, you got an issue. So if we have any sound issues or buffering or anything like that, yeah. please uh, let us know. But please let us know nicely. Yeah. Buffering, um, exclamation uh, <laughs> Or, you're having audio issues. <laughs> anyway, hello, Joshua. Hello, Kathy, Carla, Jamie, Margaret. Elliot, Mike, hello. David, Brandy, hello. Okay, so... Kiki, hello, Michelle and Carla, and let's see. So um, we did have a winner of the giveaway, um, for, and we finally got in touch with her. Yep. <laughs> it was a little tricky there for a little bit, but we did get in touch with her. Hey, Ricky, thankfully. how are you? Hey, Ricky, how are you? Joanne, hello. David, hello, or Dave, excuse me, I'm sorry, Dave. Dave and Brandy. Dave and Brandy, yes. Hello, Michelle. Oh, Larry, you're very kind. Thank yes. you very much. Super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. They, I'm glad you caught the live too, because I tried to like do something. I don't know what I was doing. I was setting up the camera, and my hand hit the screen, and it turned it on. I went, uh oh. <laughs> so, hey, TP. Hey, David of Booze Cruise. Hey, yeah. how are you? Donna of Team Carl. Hello, Donna of Team Carl. Yes. <laughs> Donna Ballas. So, what are you guys up to? I know you are here to hear about Royal versus Carnival, and we will get into that. We just want to give people a minute or two to hop in and figure out that yeah. the old link is gone. I deleted it, so... Hopefully no issues. Yeah. Wow, lots of names I don't recognize. Yes. Yvette Reynolds, Rachel McNabb, Kelly Spencer. New people, hello! Joanna, Welcome. I know Joanna Ballas has been here yes. before. Carla yes. McClendon. Yes, we sailed with her on Bliss. The Shvet S... C-H-T-E-V-I-E -E boy e was boy. talking about uh, 500 miles being the unofficial Scottish National Anthem. Yes, that was a fun night. That was lots and lots of fun. Yeah. So before we get started tomorrow, we do have, um, oh, Ronnie, you are so very kind. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, tomorrow morning, the sneak peek will be up on Carnival Vista <gasps> at 10 a.m. Central. Sneak peek? Finally. <laughs> Finally, it has been um, a lot of editing. I had to get through adventure. We still don't have, um, what's it called? Where do we go first? Atlantis. Atlantis. <laughs> up on, up yet. I, I mean. I mean, we had six months of very little travel and then boom. Yeah, it now it's all done. Yes. So, but it will be, starting tomorrow will be Vista. Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon will be the disembarkation of Adventure of the Seas and flying home. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about flying home mm -hmm. uh, from the Bahamas. For those of you still booked on um, Adventure out of the Bahamas. So um, if you have any questions, please just message me. I'll answer them the best I can. Yep. Um, Bob Belt joined us. Chris Gross, he's Bob? still cruise shopping. Hi, Chris. Are you still, he's still cruise shopping? Yes. Yeah. Um, so yes, now, uh, it was an amazing week on Vista. Yes, it was lots of fun. It really was. We had more people in that live chat on boarding day than we have ever had in a vlog ever, in a video live, live, live yeah, ever. It was amazing. It was over 800 people. It was crazy. I, I mean, I just was like, wow, that is just amazing. So and people were ready for Carnival to start cruising again. Yeah, and I know you guys are waiting for boarding day on the Vista. There's a peak of it, just a peak in the sneak peak. 
and I'm going to do my very best to get that video up Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week because I know so many of you are waiting for that. I know Jamie and Sharon have theirs up. I think Ricky has his up. Um, so there not, you go. Not sure, sure about the Cruise World. Yeah, I'm not sure about Cruise World. I was on his channel earlier, but I didn't really see anything yet. No. Um, so let's see. 42 days, Michelle. Woohoo! Yes. That is so awesome. You are going to have a blast. Yes. An absolute blast. Oh, my talking points are on my phone. <laughs> Which is up there. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. If we don't say hi to you, I'm very sorry. We yeah. Just, there's over 120 people. Wow, really? Here. Welcome. Thank you. And we'd spend 45 minutes just saying hi to everyone. So if you have any questions, please tag me or write cap lock questions or Robert. And if I miss yeah. it, please just repost it. Uh, I'll try and keep up the best I can. But we're going to just kind of go through some of our differences and mm -hmm. things between we like. Between the two ships. Yeah, between Adventure of the Seas and Carnival Vista, what we liked, what we didn't like. I mean, it was mm -hmm. both of them were fantastic. Yeah, yeah right. We were on a cruise. Yeah. I mean, it could have been pretty much anything. So, um, we are going to start at the beginning and go through the end. And uh, both cruises together at the same time. So, boarding, our room, sail away, the crew, shows, entertainment, dining times, food, gluten-free food entertainment on the ship, um, around the ship, and in the theaters, uh, disembarkation, and the protocols. And we're going to do this as quickly as we can um, so that we don't keep you more than just an hour on your Friday. Is it yep, Friday? Friday? Oh, Friday. little dog didn't get put up. No, where, he he, where are you, little man? Yeah, Come here. Good. He's already growling. You're already starting, huh? Come here. Question, in, in your opinion, who had the best food and best embarkation? We're going to get to that. But... Sneak peek, sneak spoiler, <laughs> Royal. But, well, no, see, that's a tricky question. It's a tricky question. I'm going to put him up. We'll be two seconds. I'll be here, just rambling. <laughs> uh, I was too busy deleting videos. Yeah, we, for, we forgot to put the little man up because he gets a little grouchy because Addy cleans him and he doesn't care for that. Uh, it was Saturday morning in Scotland. Very cool. It's definitely, Scotland's on my bucket list of places to go. Ooh, it's on my top but that, that, five. that bucket list just keeps growing. Just yes. Need more. Well, we got to go see family there. We got all kinds of We got all stuff. sorts of stuff to do there. Okay, so, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, go right ahead. Boarding. There was a distinct difference between boarding Vista and boarding Adventure. Distinct difference. Um... Royal had it down pat. Uh, I know there was a couple of little computer glitches for a couple of people uh, for, Royal, for Royal, but for Carnival, there were many glitches for many people. Um, we're not quite sure what the issue was, but there was a serious um, app issue on boarding day. It did not work. Yes. The internet crashed <laughs> on the ship um, for several hours. And, um, and also where we were boarding was very warm. It was very warm. There was indeed. a lot of people in there, really no social distancing, just right. a bunch of people. Whereas with in the Bahamas, it was not nearly as crowded mm -hmm. and it was in a hotel so the AC worked great. Yes. So on Royal, you had to register before the cruise. Obviously you had to fill out your health protocols before the cruise, which was the same on Carnival. Both lined up exactly the same. And then on boarding day for Royal, you arrived at your arrival time at the hotel for Carnival. It was in their normal cruise port, cruise terminal. Um, and then uh, after that, Royal, you would go upstairs and you had a COVID test. Carnival, we did not have a COVID test. We filled out our health form and it asked if we had been out of the country within 14 days. And I said, yes, because we had. We were, that was the 14th day was our boarding day. And they said, we didn't need a test. So we said, okay. So uh, we boarded the ship. But before we could board, there were all sorts of glitches. <laughs> Big com computer glitches. Yeah. Angela Roman, thank you so much. That's very oh, sweet of you. Oh, thank you. You are so sweet. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you for Super Chat, though. Thank you, yes. Completely not necessary, but thank yeah. you all. Um, and then uh, for... Royal, once you finished your COVID test, it just moved. You moved right on through. 
you went in, you showed your vaccine card, your passport, you got your official cruise card, no, you got your official boarding pass, everything was cleared, then you sat in a little waiting area and you awaited your uh, COVID results. Once you got the green light, off you went. You boarded the ship right away, you went straight to your rooms. For Carnival, you came in, you did your normal check-in procedure, you walked in, uh, here in Texas, you walk into the boarding, into the cruise terminal, and the first thing you do, incoming cat. The first thing you do is show your passport, and in this case, your passport and your vaccine card, and they stamp you. At that moment, there was some sort of issue with ours, and I thought, surely it was because we needed to take our COVID test, but that was not it. Um, they just was some sort of comp computer glitch and uh, they took our pictures and we went off into security. They gave us the little check mark and off into security we went and then uh, through security and up into the big room upstairs and they verified our check-in again. They wanted to see our passport again, yep. not our vaccine card. And there was another little issue there and we had to go to a different register uh, or a different register, yeah. a different computer mm -hmm. and finish our check-in. Everything was fine. And then we waited for our boarding group. Um, there was zero social distancing. There was zero. It was cool that they did take your picture for facial recognition. That was cool, yes. Which made yeah, getting it, off the, the ship. ship. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. So um, we just got right off on, it, we were in the waiting area chatting with people 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then on the ship we went. The whole process, 20 minutes. Uh, Royal, the whole process was probably about an hour, but that's only because you had to wait for your test results. Yeah. That was really it. But the, the, the process was very smooth and quick for both ships, smooth, quick, fast, on, and you were on the ship. Um, and then straight to your room right away because they were both the first sailings, so rooms were ready. Uh, I'm sure now you can't go straight to your room. Uh, Carnival does not have priority boarding. There is no faster to the fun. There is none of that right now. So, uh, and they do check your boarding time. Royal didn't really check. They didn't, I don't, I don't know. We had the first boarding time, so it was difficult to know. Carnival, we had a later in the day boarding time and they did check. So you could not enter into the cruise terminal until you were within about 15 minutes of your appointment time. Yeah. So that was great. The rooms, not really much of a difference. No, they, we tavern. were in balcony. Yeah. Um, they were ready, they were clean. Mm -hmm. um, Carnival, I think, has replaced their couches. The couches look newer in the rooms. Mm -hmm. um, Royal's cabin was beautiful. Our air conditioner did not work. Neither did most of the people on our row on both sides, uh, inside and balconies. And on the second day, they moved us? Yes. Yeah, and they moved everyone. We, we went down to guest services four different times and they sent yeah. a technician up who we went back down saying, hey, it's." It really was 20 degrees cooler in the, in the hallway, hallway than in the room. Yeah. And uh, then they moved us to uh, a different room and it was, it was fabulous. Fa fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then um, on Royal, the, ca the balcony was kind of like a cove balcony. But it was still deck six. Yeah, it was still deck six. But, but it, it kind of like, had that enclosure yeah, around it. It was really nice. We liked yeah. that. Um, and Vista, at, when they moved us on Royal and then in Vista, the cabin was icicles. It was fabulous. Yes. I needed my hoodie and my leggings the whole time. It was great. Sail away. Sail away on Royal was very uneventful. It was really... The six people at the uh, where sail were the away people? party. There were no people. It's like they just said, oh, we're leaving now. So <laughs> it was like, okay. It was dark. It was nighttime. It was late. Yes, but we still. sailed away a lot later on Royal. That, yeah, but there was still no deck party when you boarded the ship. And some people like that. We yeah. love the excitement of that sail away party. We really, really love that. Um, Carnival had, of course, the wonderful, normal mm -hmm. deck party. There was zero social distancing. And if you want to see that, it is in the live from boarding day. Yeah. So it's not going to be in the vlogs. It'll be in the live because that's the way I had, to, I had that camera. I had the camera in my hand. So... Um, for the live. Yeah, and also uh, on Adventure of the Seas, it was roughly a thousand people. Yeah. And on Carnival Vista, it was 2,940. And if you look at the their numbers, they're very similar sized ships. I think, nice. I think uh, Vista's 20 feet longer, but 
basically gross tons, almost identical. They're very similar size ships, mm -hmm. so it wasn't like an Oasis class ship and Carnival Paradise or something right. like that. Right. They're very similar size ships with one with 1,900 more people than the other. And you knew it. You could tell. Yes. It was a distinct difference between going from <laughs> going from a thousand people on adventure where you had space between everybody. No lines. And no lines and Carnival Vista, which was just like being on a regular cruise ship again. Just a regular cruise. Yeah. Felt no difference. I mean, there may have been less people on that ship, but you would not have known it. The Vista was 95% pre-pandemic, in yes. my opinion. Yeah. I, it, really, the only difference was... Crew wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And masks in port. Yeah, and masks in port. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, that was... That was it. Yep. I mean, and the performers didn't wear masks, but they had screens in front of them, kind of like they did on Royal. They had the screens in front of them. If they weren't, if they weren't in masks, they had, <laughs> they had screens. She's back. She is back, and she's not going to leave us alone. No. She's a senior, and she does what she wants. Otherwise, we get the claw. So, we let her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So the crew. So I will say this in the Vista vlogs. I love Carnival Crew. I have been raving about Carnival Crew for years now. They have always been my most favorite. However, Adventure did it better. When we boarded Carnival Vista, they were, they were happy, there was dancing, and we were thought, oh, this is it, this is how it's gonna be. And of course, every crew member on Vista greeted you with a smile, a hello. You couldn't there, see the smile, though. Couldn't see the smile. There was absolutely zero customer service issues on the ship. That is not, I am not saying that in any way, shape, or form. The crew were fabulous. But the adventure crew just seemed electric with excitement. You mm -hmm. could literally feel, you could feel the, the energy, energy. Yeah. coming off of the crew. And there were tears. There were... It was amazing. It mm. really was. Now, that may have been because it literally was the first cruise for us. Not, not, and not just the crew, but for, like, us. Right. That may have been why it felt a little more, and all the vloggers that were on the ship, and all yeah. the excitement before we boarded, you know? There was a lot of emotion before. So that may have had something to do with it. Shelly T, they have less people to deal with on the Royal ship. That's why they were happy. <laughs> There may, have been, that, that, there may have been that. that I'm that. not going to say that's not the case. So, I mean, you know. and But I will say, overall, I think Royal had it together, mm -hmm. prepared, and in control way more than Carnival did. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Carnival was like, oh my gosh, it's here. We got to do this last minute. You know, they hit start before it was ready. Yeah, and like I Royal, did. you know, it had little spots on the elevators. So mm -hmm. They recommended only four people per elevator. They had spots on the floor for social distancing at uh, yeah. guest services and mm -hmm. places like that. Um, I know at the pub, they had probably 25% of the tables kind of tucked away and chairs on top so people couldn't sit there. They still squeezed, you know, 40 people inside a 9 by 10 room, but mm -hmm. yes, they, they attempted to social distance. Yeah, they tried. Ah! Oh, see, like I said, you get the claw. But in the theater on Royal, the first two rows were closed off, and then you'd have two seats open, four blocked off, two seats open. So if you had a party of three, you really weren't supposed to be sitting next to each right. other. Right, you couldn't sit with each other. Yeah. Yeah. You got the claw? I got the claw. Um, but on Vista. Yeah, Vista there was just... Yeah, serve yourself in the dining room. I mean, in the... Buffet. Buffet. Buffet was open, dining room's open. Everything was normal, where as usual pre-COVID normal yeah. on the ship. Royal, the buffet was closed in the evening, so you either had the cafe promenade or one of the specialty restaurants, or you had the dining room. Those were your choices. Um, so, um, <laughs> anyway, and then we have um, dining times. It was very fast on Vista. Yeah. But other people had some issues. Now, we were only in the dining room twice. Um, I was so ecstatic and surprised about being able to have ready-made fast selections in the buffet mm -hmm. that we ate there. And guys, most of the time. Had lots of guys, Parker. Lots of guys. 
you'll see. Like I was missing and so excited about having guys that I had it basically every day. <laughs> well, and I had blue iguana or pizza. Um, yeah, our excursions were also yeah. very. Um, so who had better food? Oh. That's such a hard question. I have cat hair, so pardon me. Oh, um, that's such a hard question. Um, both ships had good food. I liked, I liked the always available gluten-free options on Royal. There were several new desserts. Never had that before. Mm -hmm. I liked that I could just go up to the Promenade Cafe and get a sandwich. Um, and it was just ready. I didn't have to wait for it. But Carnival has the deli. And I certainly had my fair share of the deli on Carnival. I had a Cuban. I had a BLT. Mm -hmm. I had some other sandwich from there. Yeah. Um, it is disappointing, though, that the deli does not have gluten-free french fries. Yeah. That's a bum deal. But you can get potato salad. Or guys burger. Or guys, or guys fries. Which I did. Yes. A lot. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yes. Um, shows and entertainment. Oh, I never finished with the crew. So, I just felt like Royal's crew was a hair more excited than Carnival's. Carnival's crew was fabulous. There was absolutely nothing wrong. There, I just noticed an actual difference or felt an actual difference. That's it. It wasn't that it ruined my cruise or made it any less exciting. It was still amazing and super exciting. I mean, I cried like 97 times the first day. So, I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. The cruise was amazing. Shows and entertainment. I've been asked this question a lot. Real quick. Yes. Royal had better pizza than Carnival. Oh, hands down. I couldn't even, I, I didn't, I don't know that I actually put this in the vlog. I'm gonna have to put this on the screen of the vlog. I did not like um, Carnival's gluten-free pizza. I just, I don't like it. Um, I had it, I've had, had it good once or twice. Mm -hmm. But usually it's not my favorite. It's very, it falls apart. I, I just don't like it. I appreciate that they have it, but I wish they wouldn't make their own crust. I really wish they would go in the direction of Royal, who just brings in crusts. And you can leave them frozen and then they're, they're fine. You know what I mean? Elliot wants to dance with the cook, okay, ladies. Yes, me too. <laughs> Almost did. I was like, oh, I want to go. And yes. for pizza for me, I mean, I like both of them. I like the fact that you just go to Cafe Promenade and for, I think, all every time except one, they had pizza out there ready. Whereas yeah. a lot of times with uh, Carnival, you gotta, wait. You, you gotta order it, you gotta wait, you mm -hmm. gotta wait, you gotta wait, and yeah. then it finally comes out. Royal does pizza better, hands yeah. down. Royal, and yeah. I didn't think I would say that because it's been so long since we've been on a Royal ship, but I preferred the Cafe Promenade experience. Yeah, totally, completely agree with that, 100%. Um, and the gluten-free pizza on Royal, n not only is it better, but you have better topping choices. So, you mm -hmm. know, Carnival, you're pretty limited with your choices. Yeah. With Royal, they'll basically put Make anything you, a you supreme want. Make pizza. Yeah, they'll put whatever you want. And I appreciate that. Of yes. course, my pepperoni and bell peppers. Love it. Um, anyway, so entertainment. I like to... S I'm sorry, we're going to see. Hey, H, I'm the king. Hey, Jamie. So, I was going to say, Royal... I like to say you sit back and you watch the entertainment. Mm -hmm. Carnival, you stand up and join in the entertainment. And so you can't say which one is better. Well, well that depends upon what you like. Mm -hmm. We like to join in. I like, now, but that said, I do like a good show where I get to sit back and watch. That first show on Royal. Impact was Impact awesome. Impact was fantastic. That was a little bit of interaction, but most of it was you sit sit back and watch. When that guy started whipping that stuff through his hair. The polos, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, and both ships, both ships had one show that you could really tell was a standard show for them. Mm -hmm. And then another show, Carnival had two. Royal had one. America Rocks and um, no, yeah. Flick. Royal had two. They that, had Impact and then they had the dancing. I'm talking about the weird ones. So like the juggler and was there a comedian? Yes. It's almost like both ships had last minute we need to bring on entertainment. Mm -hmm. Both ships had a juggler. Both, both ships had a separate entertainment. One was a comedian. One was a rope 
roper, like a mm. rope guy, rope whip, whip guy. <laughs> what do you call them? They have a name, and I, I know that name. It's right here. Anyway, I think they were playing towards their Texas crowd. Mm -hmm. I, I get that. I respect <laughs> that. That's what their name is. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Lasso. Lasso or Lasso, yeah. You know, Ted Lasso is coming up soon. Oh. If you have Apple TV, it's a great yeah. show. Yeah, and Kim's Convenience. Ah, we're watching that now. Yeah. Um, also, um, so if you want to get a sneak peek of what I'm talking about, you have to go watch stories. Um, it's in that saved highlight on Instagram under our profile. Um, see, I got the claw, and it really is not pleasant. We've um, had a lot of new people. Thank you all so thank much. Thank you. A lot Welcome. Of, a lot yes. of names we don't recognize. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I'm sorry we you. can't s say hi to everyone. It would just take us forever. Yeah, but and we all really you would do, hear is uh, us saying hi. We do really appreciate everyone joining us and taking a little bit of time on their oh, Friday David. night. Yes, David. Booze Cruise, Kim's Convenient last season. We are heartbroken. We thought we had two more seasons. Yeah, it was supposed to be a season six, and they didn't. And they only did one. I'm like, no. It's like, it, I would put that in my top five. I love that show. Yes, Comedy on the Vista. Three of the four, we really enjoyed one. One just did not. <laughs> do it for us, but eh, personal mm -hmm. preference. Right. I don't, I don't think really anybody much enjoyed him. You know how sometimes a comedian will get, like, stuck on one joke and just beat that joke <laughs> just to death and you're just like <laughs> move on and it was an uncomfortable joke i just did not enjoy it and yeah I, I don't think anybody in the room and then he was picking on a couple of people and they were just not playing along with him and they were not taking the hint and yeah. then i think it sort of stumbled him like he he just kind of at that point was like i don't know what to do from here and i still got 29 minutes left in my 30 minute set what am i going to do Anyway, so we have Lego cruise ships that are just not built yet. They're not built yet. I need to get them built. Y'all, look. See what my son gave me? I don't think it's going to come through, but it's a Friends cup. Very cool. It is. This one, and I lost Friends trivia. Spoiler. Oh, and one thing I would like to say Royal does significantly better is the soda package. Oh, hands down. There's a freestyle machine, which m normally you can just fill yourself, but they had somebody there. Uh, Anytime I needed a drink on Carnival, I had to go stand at a bar. And wait. And wait. And the guy... And not a minute. And the guy in front of me has his five margaritas, and it's like, it just takes forever. Mm -hmm. So, Royal wins the soda. Hands down. Hands down. Yeah. We liked it when we were on it the first time. It was very convenient. And now, you know, it's not self-serve. There's somebody there filling your soda, but yeah. whatever. It, it still takes four seconds. Um, dining times, dining times were great on both ships as far as I was concerned. We have a table of six for, <laughs> really, for Adventure of the Seas. And I felt like they were pretty, pretty spot on. I don't feel like we had to wait too long. I mean, the first night, I thought they did great. And then yeah. Vista, with the same thing in the dining rooms. We heard that other people were having long waits. We yeah. also heard the steakhouse had some issues, but we were at neither. Um, we had a little trouble with Kachina. Um, the, when we were pre-ordering, uh, but they called the next morning and we spoke with them and we still didn't feel quite confident. So we went down and up and spoke with the chef and he made us feel a hundred percent better. One of the things we noticed is there was a lot of brand new crew. Oh yes. And that was not on Royal. And that Royal was yeah. old crew. Yeah. Or at least knew what they were doing. Knew what they were doing. Cause yeah. like when we were in the buffet and we're trying to explain there's the little thing of butter, butter that the entire world takes their fork or knife and gets a glob out puts it on their breads and puts it back in there i wish they would just do a individual knife and just have them right next to it um but we were trying to explain to the young I lady still wouldn't use it. that <laughs> you know when somebody puts that gluten knife on there and p puts it on the bread and puts it back in there it's been con cross contaminated right so we we're trying to get something from the back and she's like no this is gluten free so we basically had to wait for like a supervisor to come by uh, and yeah. he was fantastic and the knew exactly what we were talking yes if you ever have issues once in the ask house. for a supervisor yes ask for a chef or a manager or somebody an officer, they will get them for you and yes. they will take care of you. Because I can tell you, they took very good care of me on this ship. If I wanted something in the buffet, they would go and get it for me from the back. It was already gluten-free, obviously. Yeah. And then, 
One night we went into, the, you need to, you just hit pause. Go ahead. Well, one night we went into the buffet. It was late. It was formal night and it was late, late, late. And I went and got a sandwich from the deli. And the chef guy was standing, chef guy, the chef guy was standing there and he was like, did you get dessert tonight? Cause I ordered my gluten free. I said, no, no, I missed it. It's fine. Y'all, he went and got me some and brought it to me. I just thought that was, I didn't ask for it. I mean, that was just the sweetest thing. And then I made myself eat it, even though I had just eaten like this sandwich the size of my face. <laughs> but I had to eat it because he brought it to me. I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> I just didn't eat the next day. <laughs> so, it's all good. <laughs> food on both ships was delicious. Royal has a few more readily available gluten-free options. Carnival, you may have to wait a little bit, but they will make sure you are fed. Yes. Always. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Carnival had the marble cheesecake thing. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was. Look. But you ate four of them. I ate four of them. Carl, okay, they're the size of your thumb. They're, they're, they're small. They're small. I still ate four of them. Carl and I on Carnival Magic month, years ago, had this cheesecake at, at tea time that we have been chasing ever since we had it. Mm -hmm. And the chef had just like made it up. It was like a special thing that he made gluten-free, I guess for us. I would assume it was for us. I mean, I kind of felt like it was. And so they brought it to us at tea time and both Carl and I had two pieces. It was that good. It was some sort of like spiced, Cheesecake deliciousness. I don't know. This was the closest thing to it I've had since. And I'm telling you, I really hope it's on Magic and Mardi Gras because it was delicious. And I want my friend Carl to be able to have some. If I could have wrapped it up and frozen it and brought it home for him, I would have. So back to entertainment. Royal really stopped a lot of their entertainment. Um, like the, the Love and Marriage show, things like that. There yeah. was none of that. Um, they, they didn't really have any of that. There was trivia. There was trivia. There was impact, which we saw and enjoyed. That was in the theater. That was in the theater. We did not see the Latin dance one, which everyone raved about, but we didn't. We missed it, yeah. But Royal also had a nice skating show. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. That was that cool. Was, yeah. Um, but around the ship entertainment, Carnival did it better. All of their normal trivia shows went on. Love and Marriage went on. Um... What are some of the other ones that they do? Oh, uh, bingo went on. Oh, somebody yeah. won the big bingo too. The five thousand dollar one. Yeah, I was like, wow. Normally, you know, they never win that one, but they won that. It wasn't burn the floor. It was some sort of Latin dance. Yeah, it wasn't it? It was like Latin something. Yeah, yeah. Latin was in the name. I don't remember. Um, but it was not. It was not burn the floor. No, and it was on the second second day. Yes, because so, impact was the first, first day. Yeah. day. Yeah, um, and impact was great. Um, so, and then disembarkation. Disembarkation on Royal, you got to stay in your cabin. Very nice. You didn't that have to sit nice. at the casino or sit at the MDR waiting to get out. You just yeah. hung out in your room until they called you. And they called, you know, your section or time and you had an estimated time mm -hmm. and off the ship you went. And there was no waiting for elevators. There was no... There was none of that. And we literally walked out of our room, walked down the hallway, down the elevator, and off the ship. It was maybe two minutes. We never stopped moving. Yes, it was fantastic. Yeah. Carnival, same old, same old disembarkation. Uh, the ship was late getting in because we had some sort of current issue, yeah. water current issue. Um, and then we got in, and um, there was a delay in ship inspections and all of that stuff. Uh, and then once they started the disembarkation process, we were off the ship because we were carry. We, you know, we just had everything with us. We didn't send our luggage down, but we heard it took a little while to get everybody off the ship. Um, there was a delay in embarking the next cruise, um, but we were off the ship. But when you were disembarked, when it was your turn to go, you just zipped right on off. There was really no line, it just walked right on off. Yep. Did you guys think you had more dining options or was it lacking on adventure? They were lacking, I felt, on adventure. The, the only real difference was there was no buffet for dinner. Everything else was available. Yeah, I mean, so here's the deal. I guess that's not a fair answer for me. We didn't do any of the specialty dining on adventure because we had done it on 
liberty mm -hmm. and we weren't we liked the italian Giov giovanni's giovanni's fable but it it wasn't we didn't like it enough for me to go oh i need to go back and now being gluten-free i didn't really want to have to hassle with that because on royal basically you if it wasn't really already gluten-free in the dining room they really they couldn't they couldn't make it for you so like on on carnival if you go into the italian restaurant and chicken parmesan is not gluten-free ordinarily since so breadcrumbs but they will make it with rice crumbs you know uh or rice flour rice flour or things like that they will make or corn flour they will make it that way for you and they will specifically make you gluten-free versions of gluten-full foods. Mm. I didn't find that on Royal, unless it was already made, like the pizza or some of the sandwiches and things mm. like that. Otherwise, they would just tell you they couldn't do it. Like, they couldn't do fried shrimp. They couldn't do coconut shrimp. They couldn't do... Um, just the, certain things. Yeah. But it was really nice going to Cafe Promenade. And just walking Just up. walking in and going, okay, I want that gluten-free sandwich. That mm. was, I loved that. Because, you know, you wait at the deli, for a long time whether yes. you are ordering gluten-free or regular yeah. it's a long wait <laughs> yeah. welcome our rrf president welcome long time no chat yes welcome um and protocols so i think we've been over most of those uh the protocols really were very very different on both ships yep um okay dining question do people really order multiple starters mains desserts except mm -hmm. i ask because i love to try yes. so much yes order what you want in the main dining room um you really can order what you want uh and if you find something you really enjoy after the fact like say you ordered and you've eaten it and you're like you know i really would like another one of those ask mm -hmm. they'll bring you another one um now if you're gluten free that's different if you have a food if you have to pre-order that's different you have to kind of anticipate what you think you might want I always order just a little more than I think I'll need. Viking Sniper, El Loco Fresh equals food service Cisco. <laughs> Low quality. <laughs> uh, Dan G, just got here. What did Favor and Rob say? Who is better, Carnival or Royal? We're still kind of breaking that down. We haven't yeah. gotten to a final, hey, this is the one we preferred. So we're, you, you're, you're good, Dan. You're good, you're good. Yeah. They're kind of split down the middle honestly and but we do have a clear favorite well i do that is true kathy uh with no terminal uh and nasa i'm not sure it's fair to compare the two but no, royal did that better. but royal was better without even Hands a, down. a, a uh, terminal so so we asked i mm -hmm. asked um a couple of people as we were walking through a couple of the mem uh, employee employees mm -hmm. and i was like how is this going so smoothly and she said for the last two weeks we have practiced this hundreds and hundreds of times you know. mock situations they had it down mm -hmm. hey jj cruz hey jj cruz how are you two doing we got to meet them on adventure this season they're yes. actually going to be on our symphony of the season yes we're this. very excited yes so um Yes, the different capacities also affected it. It's oh, totally yeah. different loading a thousand people and loading twenty nine hundred. But Carnival still did it pretty well. I mean, yeah. they had computer glitches, but I felt like we. I I wouldn't complain with either one. No. My uh -huh. biggest complaint with Carnival is just how warm the terminal was. Right. We were just super impressed with Royal because mm. it was so different and it was not in any of their normal right. places. Like it wasn't a. It was a hotel. Yeah. And that's sad because I was actually looking forward to El Loco Fresh. Which, which what was that? That's on that? Symphony. It's, oh, my it's, hair. It's like their fast, casual Mexican taco place. Oh, it's not going to be on Symphony? No, it is. He just said oh. it's not very good. Oh, dang. Who had better coffee? Booze oh, Cruise. come on now. Royal. Royal's coffee was a hundred times better. Carnival still has the same old coffee. Look, it's coffee. It does its job. But you do need a little extra creamer, a little extra sugar, as it'll put hair on your chest. The coffee in the dining room on Royal was very strong. Very strong. Almost to the point where you couldn't drink it. I mean, I did. But it was almost. But D and I will both tell you, I think Donna would probably agree, that the coffee mm -hmm. in Promenade Cafe, the free coffee, yep. is the best coffee on the ship. Easily. 
We actually, uh, the only specialty restaurant we did on the two cruises was Cucina de Capitano, and there was no issues getting that reservation. No, we reserved it. Except they lost it. it and yeah, <laughs> but then they realized it. Yeah. So something, I don't know what changed. Internet on both ships. I get asked about the internet <laughs> on the ships all the time. So, here's, here's the deal. Carnival's internet, other than this one cruise, mm. I've never had an issue with it. Oh, Magic. Magic was awful. I'm very concerned about the Magic. That internet on that ship was terrible, but hopefully it's been improved. Mm. That, but aside from that, the internet on Royal is fast. The vloggers on that ship, not me, the vloggers on that ship were able to upload. Mm -hmm. They were able to do whatever they needed to do with Royal's internet. However, it did go down a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. So when it worked, it worked very well. Very well. But when it didn't, it was gone. Carnival. Carnival, the boarding day, they had internet issues. But from that point on, they had it fixed before sail away. So from that point on, no disconnection issues at all. The internet actually worked. But it's slow. And on Royal, they didn't block internet calling. On Carnival, they did. So normally on the ships, we're able to like make phone calls using our internet, using the internet because we have internet calling on our phones. I was not able to do that on the Vista, which was kind of problematic for work. As a lot of you know, our son had an accident. I mean, it was, thankfully we were in Cozumel. Mm -hmm. um, when that happened, I could turn on my phone. Brandy made so. a valid point. You had a thousand people on Royal's internet and you had 2,900 on yeah. Carnival. Yeah. I, I will say that. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see if it's just as good on Symphony in the fall as it was on Adventure. I'm curious how many people are going to be on that Symphony. On Symphony. Yeah, we're very curious about that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it was great. It, it Look, as Carl points out to me all the time, you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean and you have internet. I mean, it's hard to complain. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got frustrated with it. My mistake, I was trying to upload a story and I accidentally uploaded 10 instead of one and they got stuck, which then bogged down my phone <laughs> and I couldn't make them stop. So, you know, there was that, but that was my mistake. Um, and then they went up the next morning and it was great. I mean, you guys, we live streamed on Carnival's internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you complain about that? Just the only issue is when you went inside... When I was, if I used my cell phone network and went inside the ship, I would lose connection. You have to be on Carnival's Wi-Fi to use your phone on the inside of the ship. But I know that now, so on Magic, when we go live, I will make sure I go live on Carnival's Wi-Fi. The reason why I use my phone is you get a clear picture. If, the reason why I use my cell phone plan is you get a super clear picture but then you can't go inside. And if I end the live, then I end everyone in the live with us. So it's kind of a, it's, it's kind of a, you know, weighing which, which is better, a less clear picture, but you can still, you can go inside with us and see the sh inside of the ship or a crystal clear picture and we can just walk the outside decks. Clear so, picture. I, I know you would say clear picture, but I can tell you a lot of the people who don't get to cruise, who aren't able to get on Mardi Gras with us in September, they're going to want to see the inside of that ship. Yeah, well. And, and ask questions. Well, on Royal, when we were live streaming, we were inside the ship. That is true. That is very true. And Royal. Because we were out standing on deck six or seven stocking pair of DJs that are yeah. walking down the promenade. That is true, yeah. So. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to try it and see. Not sure what protocols would change. Um, Everything's changing. You just have to. Yeah. Christina. Is it Christina? Christina V. Yeah. yeah. You just have to watch and. We're really, really hoping that MSC changes. Currently, they're mm. saying you have to wear masks even on the ship. Yeah. And I'm really hoping that that changes. That will definitely, especially after having sailed on one, two, three, four ships at that point with no mask. Right. Five ships. It'll have been five because it'll be the Adventure, Vista, Magic, Mardi Gras, and Symphony. Yes. So it will have been five ships without a mask. Lots of cruise vlogs coming. Oh my be gosh. Ready. There'll be no sh and And we're going camping, you guys. We're going camping and our son bought a Traeger grill. Pellet grill or something where I smoke a brisket. Have a good night, Bruce Cruz.
Good night, Booze Cruise. Good night, David. And thank you again, my friend. Thank yeah. you. Wow, Viking Sniper says over 200 people in the chat. Really? Wow. Thank you. Welcome. That's awesome, you guys. Okay, more comparing and contrasting Royal mm -hmm. and Carnival. So, the look of the ship. Oh, I get this. We get this question a lot about mm -hmm. the casino and smoking. Carnival took out their bar that was in the middle of the casino that everyone sat and smoked at. They put, took that out and... People just sat at the machines and smoked. <laughs> sat at the machines and smoked. But they added more um, slot machines. Mm -hmm. Whereas Royal blocked off, I think, every other slot machine except for a couple. They had like two or three together. Yeah, but they put the, but they put the plastic partitions. partition between it. Yeah. Um, uh, scooters had a hard time getting through yeah. Royals Casino. Carnivals was still the open. You had the little meandering path through the middle. Hey, Cruise World. So, hey, Cruise World. Welcome. Mark and Stephanie. We How met them you? on the uh, Carnival Vista. It yeah, was amazing. Yeah, we were watching some of their vlogs yesterday. No, uh, Carnival, I mean, Royal, we did not have to wear a mask. Uh, mm -hmm. The only time we had to wear a mask was... In port. In port in Nassau, getting onto the ship. And then once we were on the ship, we were fine. And then in Cozumel, we had to wear a mask, but that wasn't Royal's decision. That was yeah. Cozumel's decision. But yeah. other than that, and in then Coco when we K, were in Freeport. Freeport, yeah, we wore masks. But in Coco K, no you, mask. you didn't have to. So, um, yeah, and it was the same on Vista uh, in Ports of Call. Now, there was one, y'all, I swam with shark. That's going to be a great vlog. Uh, seriously, we have such good footage of that finally because yes. we've had some camera issues in the last couple in the adventure vlogs we had some camera issues i still had more audio issues on my um iphone i'm able to kind of they're not as bad as they were and i have figured out what the problem was um i have had some really rude people you guys about the audio i'm like <laughs> okay anyway so even though i put it in the videos so some of you may see it repeatedly in the videos and that's to I swear, if I leave one little section out that I don't acknowledge that there was an audio issue, I mean, I could have told you 900 times through the video, and this one little, they're gonna comment on that one little section. I'm like, oh Lord. So, I mean, you almost just. Mary and Dylan swimming with the sharks. Yes, and the stingrays. Anyway, mm -hmm. this footage was fantastic. The new GoPro 9 is fabulous, it really is. It really is. It's such a good camera, and we were able to get good footage underwater. Now, this next cruise, we're doing something quite adventurous for me. Mm -hmm. We're doing two super adventurous things on the Magic, which I'm really scared of, but we're going to do them. I have a case for my iPhone so I can also take stories with my phone so that you guys can have a little bit. Choco okay, case shirt. Yeah, have a little bit of a sneak peek. And... I will also be doing stories on YouTube. I totally forgot I could do that. So that'll all be set up. So those of you who aren't on Instagram, you'll be able to see it on YouTube because I get that a lot. People say, oh, I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook. Okay, because it'll go from Instagram to Facebook. Anyway, swimming with the sharks and the stingrays. Everyone must do it at least once in their <laughs> life. It was amazing. Yes. It really, and the starfish, the starfish in in um, Roatan. Oh my gosh! Yeah. It, it really massive starfish. It was amazing seeing these things, you guys. When you finally stop letting fear control you and stop you from doing things you know are going to be amazing, amazing things happen. It was mm -hmm. really. It it was, it was amazing, and now he's talking about swimming with the whale sharks, and with the big sharks. And the big fish, and I'm working on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, on Magic and Amber Cove, we're gonna do the. It's like a dune buggy excursion, and then I can't pronounce the name of the waterfalls, but the Mine Jane Falls something, or something, something like falls. that. Mm -hmm. So you basically slide down rocks into the water, and then jump and just kind of go down this. Carl, this. did it really? The ten just came out. GoPro. I, I can't keep up with it. Zip lines, yes, they had zip lines in Cozumel, and if we go back to the same place in Cozumel, I may do them. They didn't look too scary. 
and they didn't go super fast and they yeah. weren't super steep. The ones that scare me are the ones that are really, really, really high and they go to Amber Cove. Like the one in St. Thomas. Oh no, I won't be doing that one. Yeah. Uh-uh. Um, <laughs> Looks like they just released the GoPro 11. Oh, <laughs> Carl. Okay. I thought he was serious. No, Carl being Carl. <laughs> really, Team Carl? <laughs> Shelly said you can have it. I'm not swimming with no stingrays or sharks. Y'all, there's a funny part in the Thank video. Thank you, Brian. It really is kind of funny. I was standing there, and I could feel the stingray coming up behind me. And y'all have to know, I'm, I'm, I have very poor vision. So I can't always see. And I can't see on this side at all. And I'm, anyway, so I was standing there. And I could see it, but anyway, it came between my legs and it was very large and very wide, wider than my foot stance. And I am having to jump and then kind of make myself, you don't step on it. What happens if you step on it? I didn't know and I didn't want to find out the hard way. So. We did a carnival excursion in Cozumel. Mm -hmm. It was to the Islands Beach Club. If you look on Carnival's excursions, there's like three of them. Ours was, uh, Ours was the cheapest uh, one. Yeah, it was uh, Shore Snorkel and Beach Break. Did that not was there. Food. Uh, there's one that's um, Jet Ski and Beach Break that was at the same place, and Zip Line and Beach Break. Yeah. And that was. And then once you were there, you could add in anything you wanted to do. Um, so we got to get him on a jet ski. But the the thing with We've, we've been to uh, Nachi the, mm -hmm. on Adventure, which is very nice. We had a great time, but the water's kind of brownish because it gets churned up it's a very, lot. Yeah. Crystal clear water. We were on the Calm. north north part of the island, up mm -hmm. north past the airport, whereas all Paradise Island, Mr. Sancho's is, is kind of on the south side of the cru south southern port part of the island past the cruise but, terminal. But, 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 but. The north side, it's a lot more rocky. It's not necessarily a beach. It's just kind of sand and rocks and, and stuff steps. like that. And steps to get down. Water was absolutely amazing. Crystal yeah. clear. And we saw um, stingrays, small little yellow mm -hmm. tail, yellow fin stingrays. Uh, so we snorkeled. It was great. It was really, really nice. Now, because because we did cruise ship excursions, you guys know it takes longer. Mm -hmm. Everything takes longer. You have to sign your life away. Mm -hmm. There's lots of explaining and things mm -hmm. like that. So once lots of people can't listen and, and do what they're told. <laughs> follow the line. Anyway, so by the time you know, it takes a little while to get where you're going, and we had a delay mm -hmm. in Belize. There was a delay on um, that. That was kind of. No fun, but we got through it, and I'm gonna leave that in the vlogs. I'm gonna leave my frustration in the vlogs because I'm gonna be completely honest. I was a little grumpy. Mm -hmm. It was hot. We were standing outside. Nobody explained what was going on, we and were just waving. And we all had masks on, and it was hot, 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 hot. And when you get hot and sweaty and suffocating with the mask on, and you don't have anything to drink with you, mm -hmm. you get grumpy. Jody. 1015 is going to be on the same royal cruise with us in october awesome if you see us please say hi yeah and that's one thing i want us anyone who's watching our stuff if you ever see us say hi you know what we look like we we, we don't we yeah. don't know what y'all look like uh just pop in and say hi we had one guy Thank we were having you. breakfast and a gentleman came up and he's like hi my wife told me not to come over and say hi to you but i wanted to say hi and get a picture always say hi always say hi please just yeah hey how are y'all I'm always eating, so I mean, I just want you to know that I will always be eating. <laughs> I don't get to eat anything at home. When we get on those cruise ships, I am eating. I'm Hello, making Christina up for less time. Somebody asked uh, when we are going on the Magic, August 30th. Yep. And then we get and off then, the Magic and we get on Carnival Mardi Gras September yeah. 4th. We're going to Uber from Magic to Mardi Gras because we hear it's far. Yes. Um, Kristen F. is going on the Magic on 9-4. We will be boarding Mardi Gras on 9-4. So yep. we will wave at you. We'll wave as we're getting off That's and right. you're getting on. That's right. Um, we will also be on the Pride in October. <laughs> awesome. If you ever see me, just write down hello on a $100 bill and walk by and slip it in my hand. <laughs> I don't know why that just happened. Carl, you can Carl. Stop. Mardi Gras party, yes. So what else? 
do we have to compare and contrast? Um, I just did something. Carl, I clicked hide. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Quit. That's what I'm trying to click, and I clicked hide <laughs> on my email because it kept repopulating and popping up. Oh, look, it's trying to do it again. Christina V is going to say hello on September 4th. Yes, please Perfect. do. Thank you. Um, yes, Dave and Brandy, I cannot wait for Mardi Gras. I cannot wait. Not only can I not wait to see that ship, but you know what? I finally get to meet Dave and Brandy. Finally. Because yes. nobody's canceling that cruise. I'm telling you, if they cancel that one and I don't get to meet Dave and Brandy again, <laughs> I'm coming to get them and we're going to go get on that ship anyway. Yes. <laughs> nobody's canceling that again. Um, uh, I think they've temporarily uh, suspended Faster the Fun. Yes. I so, think they're trying to Nancy, hi. space out boarding more so yeah. than faster. Than, and just so. kind of... Like if you have to take a COVID test before getting on the ship and then you've got faster to the fun and then it's upsetting and uh, I think it's just easier. Hi, Wendy. I'm new to your vlog. Do you, did you feel safe on the Carnival Vista? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I have to tell you, boarding day was stressful mm. with the app not working and you have to do everything on the app. Same with Royal and Carnival. Now they are very app dependent. Yep. Um, I mean, if you don't have the app, you can still do things. They're not going to say, no, you can't make a, a reservation right. in person. Oh, the shows. Royal, you had to reserve a spot for the show. Carnival, you just went. Yep. There were no reservations needed other than for dining. Yep. Like uh, uh, specialty dining on, on uh, Carnival. Yep. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I said it was saying something, and I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, oh, thank you, David. Yeah, this was one of the new shirts on Vista. I love this shirt. Um, my favorite carnival shirts, there's two of them. It's where the ship's name is in glitter, in print, and it's bold. It's like big across the whole front of the shirt, and it's navy blue. Um, and then the one that has glitter circle around it, and it's carnival, carnival cruise or carnival or something. Um, it's not ship specific. I couldn't find them on Vista. So I'm hoping Magic or Mardi Gras will have them uh, because those are my favorite. I need to stock up on those. Um, Shelly T is going to be on the Mardi Gras with us. Nice. Say Welcome. hi to us, please. Awesome. Yes. Um, did it take a while to get back to the practice of cruising routine, etc.? Yeah. Yes, it did. Um, Packing. Oh my gosh. Pa uh, Adventure of the Seas. I like packed my whole freaking closet. And Carnival Vista, I didn't bring enough. <laughs> it was a good thing that we bought shirts because. I, I actually went through, like, you know, when you normally, when you buy cruise shirts, you don't really wear them to the last day or until you get home. Crew for St. Jude shirt. I had to wear everything because I didn't bring enough. <laughs> so that was the one thing. So now we know. And of course, magic will be even trickier because it's two cruises. So, yeah. And Royal, we had, um, what is the name of that place? Again, we went to first. Coco K. No, the the beach place we went. Atlantis. Why? I cannot remember Atlantis and Mardi Gras. Those two words will not stay here. They're like no, no, no. Carlo was clarifying. I was talking about the distance when the terminals in Port Canaveral from Magic to Mardi Gras. Yeah, we need to kind of research that because yeah. I heard they're far apart and we'll have probably have to Uber. Yeah, we're likely gonna Uber unless they have some sort of shuttle service. We were going to speak with our PVP. Ronnie, y'all know I love Ronnie. I love him. Um, and uh, we were going to speak to him and ask if he knew. And um, if he doesn't know, then of course we're just going to have to research. You see, we have to do our own research because Team Carl is not on this cruise with us. Yes. And so we have to relearn how to research things because he does that for us. How many swimsuits? And safely. How many swimsuits would you recommend for us gals? Okay, so on Royal, I brought four, I wore two. Mm -hmm. And I also have learned what kind of bathing suit I prefer. Um, on Royal, I had a little V-neck bathing suit. Mm -mm. I like the ones that come up around the neck because they stay. Um, the V-neck, I had a little trouble with, um, you know, privacy. Uh, so I now have up around the neck and I suggest two. If you have four ports, two bathing suits, you should be fine. You're gonna have to lay them outside. Um, you can get away with one as long as you have sunny days. 
because you can take your bathing suit and lay it out on the chairs on your balcony. Christina Henry, yes. But the problem is, yes, Christina, yes. Kri Kristen, mm. Kristen, Christian. It was, it was very, Kristen. it was a problem. And so you'll see some funny editing because I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've walked around like that. So, yeah. So, um, but if you can put it out on your balcony and you have sunny days, your bathing suit's going to dry in 20 minutes. If you have overcast and rainy days, it's not going to dry that fast. On Carnival, you have a dryer, clothes dryer. You can go and put it in there. For three bucks. For three bucks, yeah. Um, on Royal, you didn't have that. So I found I prefer having two because there is nothing worse at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning when you're already cold in your cabin and putting on a cold, damp bathing suit. Yep. That's no fun. Did you reserve prior... Or onboard only. Next adventure mentioned registering for a PCR for return home. When did you register? Bahamas visa visa uploaded forty eight prior forty eight hours prior. Correct. Yes. So Royal put in our rooms a little uh, QR code. QR code on a piece of paper and said it was I believe the second or third day of the cruise and said you need to register. You have to test take this test in order to enter back into the United States. Um, now. Uh, if you are flying home the day of departure, obviously it'll be that day. If you're flying home the next day, then you need to make sure you are within your time frame of your required uh, COVID test. And Carnival, I mean, excuse me, Royal gave us the test. They didn't charge us for it. Mm. Um, that's in the vlog that posted today, I think, this morning. Um, and we went in and uh, by the evening we had a letter from Royal um, from the testing company saying we were negative and that we needed that in order to get our boarding passes. So when we got to the airport in Nassau, we went to check in our luggage and um, check in for a flight and um, they verified our vaccine, they verified our passport and they verified our uh, negative COVID test and then they gave us our boarding passes. And then when we got to security, they checked our passport again. And as we were going through security, guess who got flagged? Yeah, that was no fun. Um, and I never, you guys, I never wear flip-flops to the airport or sandals or anything that don't require socks. And this time I did. <laughs> they made me take my shoes off and stand. Look, I know I'm whining. Y'all, there are so many people who can relate to this. They made me take my shoes off and stand on that sticky, disgusting airport floor. I call it a warp floor. I can't help it. It is so disgusting to me. And I was, and it wasn't fast. I, I swear I was there for what, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. It was a very long. And they kept having to walk off and do something and then come, come back, back to you. And then we had to go through everything in my luggage. And I was like, well, thank God the dirty clothes are in the other luggage. I mean, <laughs> the luggage we checked. Because yes. I was, I told her, I said, uh, there's some stinky clothes in there. We got all hot and sweaty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, yeah. so, but thankfully it was the other suitcase. But, um, yeah. So, you'll take your PCR test on the ship. It's provided by Royal. Now, there is a different rule if you have not had your vaccine. So, I can't speak to that because we have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So, there is a different rule. There is a different set of protocols for those not vaccinated. Yes, gross. So. No bare feet in the airport. Oh, gosh, no. And it was carpet. It wasn't a hard floor. It was carpet. Like like standing in a movie theater carpet. Oh, could you just imagine? Oh, it was awful, awful, awful. So, I will not make that mistake again. This is why we're a TC, T, TSA pre-check. <laughs> so, happened once to me. I carry socks inside pocket of my backpack. Now, Kathy... That is a good idea. Definitely will do that. Yes, what a great idea. I bet there was some even in my suitcase. She wouldn't let me touch anything. She was like, do not touch. And then they wiped my hands with something. I was like, hopefully I didn't touch something that I'm not supposed to touch. Um, <laughs> Shelly, Team Carl, I'm gonna find you for your excursions, LOL, SAS group cruise. Carl is the best excursion planner on the planet. Yeah. Seriously. Hey there, Spikers. Hey! We, since we started cruising with Carl and Donna, our excursions have been elevated. Y'all, we've been in cenotes. We've had great meals. We have seen more beaches than you can possibly imagine. It's been great. It really is. I would rather swim, swim with the socks, but I think it was sharks. 
Yes. Then go barefoot at the airport. Mm -hmm. Yes. Team, team Carl needs Davina food. You know what? <laughs> the Davina man, I ha it made us nervous for for, and we are very worried about mm -hmm. Maravilla. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have to eat all the food on Symphony. Yep. All of it, so that when we board Maravilla, we can fast for a little while. We we have never booked airfare through a no, cruise and line. never will. Um, I heard too many horror stories. I don't care what it saves. Mm -hmm. I need to know I'm in control of my airline booking. I can change it if I need to. If mm -hmm. it gets canceled, I'm in control of it. So I will never do that. Um, but And on Adventure, there were some pretty nerve-wracking stories. Yes. <laughs> Dan will never do MSC again. And that's why just our personal experience that's why we don't use a travel agent there are fantastic travel agents mm -hmm. out there we have yeah. met several of them yes but i just like the fact that we're controlling and we're not having to rely on somebody rely else. on somebody else we because when we first started cruising we used a travel agent and you know we were messaging them and they didn't reply and this is our experience and yeah it was just, this was just one single yeah. time and it was just kind of frustrating and you know technology has changed over the years significantly and there yeah. was an extenuating circumstance yes. with our travel agent which we didn't know but when you're trying to get a hold of somebody to do and something and a pressing matter yeah. yeah so so you know um and you know we just decided not to that's why we like having a pvp because you are still in control of your booking yeah. um your pvp just helps you make that booking can guide you through the process, answer questions as you go. Mm -hmm. um, and look, I mean, we have Carl with us, who is a cruise booking expert. Mm -hmm. And Rob, who also, I mean, will sit there and research cruise itineraries for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. And we still have a PVP. Mm -hmm. um, just because, and you know, you, when everything was being canceled, who waited on the phone for hours on end? to figure out what they were going to do with their cruise. Not the Fenwicks and the Slowinskis. Nope. nope. Yeah. We had our PVP, sent him a message, and he called and took care of everything. So. PVP, yeah, you know me. There Who's down go. with? <laughs> That's funny, Carl. Dan G, Team Carl, the entire ship will be Europeans, not the friendliest people. You know, we actually, I see, I didn't find that on um, Seaside. I, Davina, we didn't really get to interact with too many. I think everybody was too nervous because that was in the middle of COVID was just starting to explode. Mm -hmm. The world was shutting down. People were getting stuck on ships. Yeah. Everybody was in a different mindset on Davina. But on Seaside, I felt everybody was super friendly. Everybody yeah. said hello. I loved hearing all the different accents. I loved mm -hmm. talking to people from around the world. But yes, yes, there were many more Italians, English, Australian, German, German um, some Canadians, um, and hey. a lot of French on the ship. Um, so you heard dozens of languages. It was, mm -hmm. it was actually... Um, but we had a very different experience on Seaside than we had on Davina. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're sailing Maravilla to give MSC the third and final time. So hopefully two out of three. Adrian David, uh, Carnival on the Vista has the, typically the first two comedy shows are PG, you know, kids under the age 18, no problem being there. The later two or three comedy shows are adult. And they are very adult. Very adult. And Very, maybe they have blush. adult, and then they have the one where they basically say this is an explicit show. Yes. So just and it is. It really is. Ooh, mm -hmm. we're, we're approaching an hour and seven minutes. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Carnival started doing the uh, on the last night of the cruise where both comedians are in the main theater. Yes. So we did we, not we did not go to that one. No, because it was very late. It was eleven thirty, and somebody was really tired. And was falling asleep in another show. <laughs> Y'all, hey. I have fallen asleep in public more on these last two cruises. I, that is not me. I can't sleep anywhere. That's him. But not my man, sleep anywhere. I have been so time. tired. I mean, I slept on the plane coming <laughs> yeah. home. We have not done a Hawaiian cruise. That is not definitely yet. on the on list, list of things to do. Hello, guys. Which cruise line had the comfier bed? Normally, I would have said to you, Carnival, hands down, every single Carnival ship I have ever been on, the bed has been luxe. But this time it was royal. Uh, I don't know what Vista did with their beds. I really hope they didn't actually replace them. 
because this bed was nowhere near the normal, cushy, deliciously comfortable sleep like a baby bed. I did not sleep at all on this cruise. Cruise World, I was falling asleep during Comedians in the Liquid Lounge. <laughs> Me too. too! Oh my gosh, I, could, I was trying so hard not to, but I'm like doing this on him going, I gotta go to bed. I can't. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Jen, Jenny Lynn, the comedy shows are so adult that adults were whining to John Heald about how inappropriate they are. You know, you get, and I said that to Rob. Fine, you want to have an explicit show? Fine, call it an explicit show, make it the last show. Fine, whatever, you do you. But the adult shows, there were a couple of times where I looked at him and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it really... And we're not easily offended people. Not at all. I mean, and, you know, I have no problem with it. I can laugh with everyone. But you can cross that line when you really start making people people feel uncomfortable. Well, and it was the one comedian we didn't care for. And basically yeah. it was the same joke over and over and over. Yeah. And then just picking on people in the crowd. And that just wasn't our, um, wasn't our thing. No. I think... Uh, the Hawaiian cruises are all out of Long Beach. I don't think they're out of San Francisco. We're actually cruising Alaska out of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Next May. Team Carl, what is a PVP? It's a... Personal Vacation Planner. For Carnival. Carnival. It's... Yes. Hey, Carl. Uh, if you are easily accessible, because I forgot to put it in the, dis in the description box. If you can put Ronnie's info in the chat, I'd appreciate it. If you can get to it easily. You know what? I can, because I'm on my laptop. Look at that. Okay, I'll chat while you do this. Um, yes, MSC has the most beautiful ships. Uh, I'm looking forward to Maravilla. We'll be on that one in October. We've done Davina. We've done Seaside. Um, do you remember the names of the comedians on Vista? Just curious. Um, I They'll be in our... My phone's there, which is where all of that is. It's Brandy. We can just Yeah, I will message you, Brandy, and let you know. I think it's like Jimmy DeValley or something. That was the one we didn't care for. And then there was the guy who came out in the onesie with the tongue. He, he kept doing this thing with his tongue, and I was like, well, But he had, like, the, who's the guy with the big tongue, the singer with the big tongue? Gene Simmons. Yeah, he had his tongue. And it was like, but oh my gosh. It was one of those things that he started off a little rough, but he was actually pretty humorous. Yeah. I put Ronnie's information in the chat. Tell him I sent you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll get a phone call from Ronnie every now and then. Saying, you know, <laughs> this person, this person, and I love that. Anything mm -hmm. I can do to show my appreciation to Ronnie, I'm willing yeah. to do. Going to be funny and sometimes real funny, sometimes ratchet funny, and all about you if you sit up front. I usually enjoy them and haven't seen one that went too far. Yeah, this one, it seems like the comedians on this ship, I really, it was kind of shocking to us because we really have not seen a carnival, a comedy show that's gone too far. I mean, they're the ones that kind of make you blush. You're like, oh, oh my. But these were just downright offensive. California yes. Linda has walked out of comedy for the reason you state. Princess yeah. sails to Hawaii from both San Francisco and Long Beach. Yeah, we got to get on the princess First show. time listener, fun and informative. Thank, Thank you. I'm glad. I'm so glad. So, do you have a overall review and... Favorite? Favorite. Vista. Carnival, hands down, forever will always be my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, the Carnival Vista, the ship itself, is not my favorite. Um, in fact, it's really not even in my top three ships. Um, mm -hmm. Not at all. Um, Carnival is just a fun cruise. You can, people always say, it's the party ship. No, it's not. If you choose to pick party on the ship, there are places you can we go. We don't even drink. We don't drink. There are places that you can go on a carnival ship to party. There are also places you can go where it's quiet and relaxing and peaceful and calm. There are places you can gather and have conversation where it's quiet, but there is always something to do if you want to do it. We didn't find that on Royal. On Royal, there were times in which we were bored. We were sitting around going, okay, where's somebody we can chat with? You know, we've talked to each other nonstop for seven days. And we were lucky we were cruising. With a group of people. Well, group yeah. of people that we had and we just met, but we've known for a while. Right. But and there was lots of times where you're like, wow, there's four hours until this nothing. happens. And nothing on the, 
you know, on the planner, nothing scheduled. I was saying mm -hmm. nothing on the books, but nothing to go and do. So unless you drink, unless you were a person who hung out at the pool, which they were empty, unless you were, I don't know what you were supposed to do, hence the amount of shopping I did. I mean, it was just excessive. And it was also on sale. Well, that was Save, awesome. Saving money. Yeah. And who knows, Royal as they gear things up and maybe when they start cruising from the United States that might change a little bit. But we found that on, on Liberty yeah. of the yeah. Seas. Yeah, our, our very first cruise in 2016 was Liberty of the Seas and we had heard the carnival horror stories, the yeah. drunk and this and that and then the poop cruise from the yeah. Triumph and all that stuff. So we actually sailed Royal and yes, it was our first cruise and we really weren't sure what we were doing, but it was just, it was okay. It wasn't mm -hmm. fantastic. And the very first Carnival cruise we took was the Carnival Freedom, and it was like, wow. Wow. That <laughs> was fun. It was amazing. And, yeah. And we love the cruise directors on Carnival ships. Mm -hmm. We love the entertainment, the fun. If you want to talk about talent versus ship versus ship talent, actual ability to sing and dance, ability to truly entertain and perform, of course, Royal is going to win that. MSC, one. actually. MSC is going to win it hands down. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So it's going to be interesting on Symphony. We're going to have to see what it's like on a big ship and uh, see how different it is. See how different it is on Mardi Gras. So, you know, because it's a different ship for yeah. Carnival, it's a whole new concept. So we'll have to see. Which cruise line has the best ice cream? Oh, Royal. Ice cream, I, I... We don't really eat ice cream. Well, no, cream. I, I eat a lot of ice cream. You, you don't, but yeah. my thing is, is there really bad ice cream? Oh, that's soft serve stuff on... Oh, I love that soft serve stuff. I don't like Get the little cone and just kind of... I tried. It was very, like, icy tasting. Mm -hmm. But I don't eat a lot of ice cream, so, you know, I was excited they had strawberry, though. So, and I don't think I had ice cream on Royal. I had it on the private island. It what is really... your top three carnival favor? Ooh, ships? Yes. Legend, don't tell Carnival Freedom, Carnival Freedom. But that was out Alaska, Carnival Legend. I love that ship though. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be Legend, Freedom, and then um, it doesn't exist anymore, but Triumph. Yeah. I love that ship. Um, it was a great, great ship. It's almost like it was like the perfect size. Mm -hmm. So it was a Not good too ship. big. Yeah. But now, I don't like the tiered, the step up. Let deck, step up, deck. Yeah. I do prefer Vista's mm. levels. That's Ooh. really nice. California so. Linda says Bluebell, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yes, Carnival Legend had bad food. Oh, Lord, did they ever. I, they like so I said, bad. if Carnival Legend wasn't doing Alaska, would it be in the top three? Possibly. possibly. For me, yeah. I love that ship. The yeah, ship. but I think it being Alaska had a lot to do with it. Probably. We'll see. We're going to be on Pride, on the Pridey. The gelato on the horizon was amazing and free. We did not get a chance to get gelato on the Vista. Yeah, I don't know if they had it or not. No, I, did. I never saw it. They had ice cream in the coffee shop, but I didn't ever. I only bought one, bought one coffee on the whole cruise, and I think I drank it in like a minute and a half. It was so delicious. Oh, the mugs. Oh, the shopping. Oh, the... TX Pepito. Blasphemy. I refuse to pay extra, like... Johnny Rockets. Nope, guys all the way. Oh, God. Guys is so good. Now, I did not have a gluten-free bun from guys because I don't like them. But the gluten-free bun from Johnny Rockets was pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was really, it, it was the same biscuity type dough. They kind of fall apart after a little bit. But this one had a nice top on it. It was delicious. I was very full when we got there. I really wanted to eat. Oh, and I appreciated that they had a hot dog bun. That was, that was. Yeah. I know you're thinking it's just bread, but when you can't have bread, <laughs> and when you can't find good bread, you appreciate good bread. <laughs> MSC has the best gelato. Oh, they brought me something. Was that gelato? I don't know yeah. what it was. MSC but... also has by far the best pizza, as far yeah. as the cruise lines we've sailed. We've sailed Norwegian twice, MSC twice, Royal twice, Carnival 11 times. Gee, I wonder which one's our favorite. Yep. <laughs> And it's not price, because we will pay for what we like. I mean, that's just, 
you know, we would pay more if it was, if we loved Norwegian more, we would cruise Norwegian more if we, you know. Mm -hmm. So I do like that, some of the islands that Norwegian goes to, like yeah, uh, Tortola. Tortola. No. Robert, statement, thank you for hanging and answering all our questions. Thanks for morning coffee lives. I can't wait for your new videos. Thank you. We thank will, you. of course, be going live just like that on Vist, I mean, on uh, Magic and on Mardi Gras. Um, there, I feel like, are going to be a lot of vloggers on Mardi Gras, so the, you will be no short of content. And there's going to be lots of vloggers until then coming up. I think, who else? Like Jay will have all 47 episodes up before he gets off gets the ship, off the so ship. you're good. Yeah. If you need Mardi Gras... You he, will, Jay will be your man. Jay will be the man, because he's, yeah. he's on the very first Mardi Gras. Yeah, exactly. So, we will not oh. be... California Linda, Miss Bluebell Barbecue and Kalachi Factory since moving <gasps> to California. Yo, Kalachi why, Factory is why awesome. Why isn't Kalachi Factory gluten free? Oh. When is your vlogs coming out for Vista? Starts tomorrow. Sneak peek is tomorrow. And I'm going to try and get the embarkation day up uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week. Um, I'm going to do my very, very best to get it up for you. I do have all the content on the computer. Um, I just, the, the first vlog is the longest because I have all my graphics I have to put in. I got to pull out all my stuff off my phone and all the screen recordings. The first vlog takes the longest. So once that one's done, the rest kind of just go after that. So like I said, we are camping with the kids. Um, I'm bringing my laptop. Y'all know I don't sleep, so I'll be editing. So our next cruise is August 30th on the Carnival Magic. We get off the Carnival Magic on September 4th and get right on. Carnival Mardi Gras, September 4th. I see you, Waka. I see you. We have another cat coming in. Do you know who's steaming from Carnival Breeze? Streaming. Is that what you mean? It says steaming, but streaming. Um, no. No, I do not. Mm -mm. We haven't been on the breeze. Um, we're looking for a last minute breeze with a good deal. Um, just because we need to give Breeze a second chance. Yeah. Our, um, and Cookie is on Breeze. I love Cookie. Our, our very... One of our least favorite cruises was the Carnival Breeze with Mike Pack, who a lot of people love Mike Pack. He is by far our least favorite. Yeah, Carnival I know. Breeze I, know I hate saying that, but he just, it, it, he didn't want It's us. just personal preference. You know, yeah. hey, some people like Domino's, some people like Pizza Hut, and I'm like, mm, no, I'd rather get Brothers. really good pizza. He likes Brothers, Brothers or Rosas. Yeah. So, just yeah. personal preference. Right. And, and that's just it. Mm -hmm. um, we love Cookie. Malcolm, Woohoo Burns, and Simon. We liked Kevin. Those are our top three. Kevin, yeah. we really liked. Jen Baxter. Yeah, on Alaska. Yeah, um, I was just concentrating. I wasn't looking at something. I'm sorry. Um, yes, streaming. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure yeah, who's streaming. Yeah, we don't know. But what you can probably do is just click search on YouTube. Carnival Breeze. Carnival Breeze, and then you can search the last week or past you can 24 also do hours. Carnival Breeze today. Yeah. And that'll come up. So Cookie was a lot of fun. Yes. Cookie's awesome. I love him. I absolutely love him. And we like lived down the street from him and didn't even know it. Um, Dr. E, we've never had Dr. E. We've heard he's fabulous. I think we have him coming up on a cruise. We don't know um, yet. I mean, we're on the we've had We've had Chris, Brandy. Yeah. We kind of have, we have a different opinion about Chris than you. Chris. We think he's wonderful. He's just... Chris ranks right above Mike Pack. <laughs> he does. And only because I think I think we like the cruise directors who are... They make the, the, the people on... They make the... What are we? Passengers on the ship the show. Mm -hmm. Like, they're in with the crowd. They're not above the crowd. And that's... We have seen, like, if they're down with the crowd and they're dancing and they're talking... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I also find I like male cruise directors over female only because of the same reason. I feel like, like I want the cruise director to care, to think about what the passenger is doing, not about the hip pop. I don't, I don't that, t it's just different. I don't know. But I was also a performer. I, I performed for many Would years. you like Jen Baxter? I do, but I like Jen because she was both. Well, then, and she was Alaska, which is a lot more mellow or yeah. cruise. Yeah, there was not a lot of singing and dancing. Ashy. So, but don't get us wrong. We do like Scott. We like Scott. Mm -hmm. Just we like the style of Cookie, Simon, and Malcolm. 
Yeah. It's just a different, they just have a different style. Is D and J as lovely in person? I'd love to meet them. Oh, they are really as lovely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I, yeah. It's I mean, okay, Brandy. Could... Oh, Brandy. No, no. No, no. Like, just personal preference. No. Yeah, no. She was saying she didn't know we had him before. Yeah, oh, we yeah. had him on Vista. Vista. Yeah, Vista. It had to be Vista. The four day, wasn't it? No, no that, that was Kendall. Kendall. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. yeah. Sorry. I said hip hop. Oh, there's uh <laughs> Casa Olay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Stephanie Clay's gonna be on the breeze with Cookie. Uh, Kendall Fire was yeah. okay. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, Jeffrey. I yes. mean, was she horrible? No. No. Where there no, worse crews? Was there worse cruise directors we've had? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there better? Yes. Kendall was good at, at gearing up the crowd. Mm -hmm. She was good at that, but the, she was very not with the little kids though, but with yeah. like the people who sort of standoffish. But you know what? That's not fair to say because they really had to social distance. Because yeah. if she took she, her mask off, she couldn't get near anyone. So it wasn't fair for me. It's not fair for me to say that. So yeah. hold on. There's just personal preference. My, I got an alert. Let me clear it. I don't me want to too. Knock I don't the... like him. Thank Sorry. God he's not going to be on the Mardi Gras when we go. Who? I don't know. I missed that one. Um, yeah, Carnival. Malcolm is not with Carnival anymore. That's sad. I'm sad. But I still follow him on social media. Um, and um, because I adore him. I adore him. Um, and then. Uh, Hour and 25 minutes. Okay. And I don't know where Simon is. Yeah. I don't I don't know if he's coming back or not. I know where he is. He's in the UK. I Hi, love, Tyler. love him. Hey Tyler. Um, so all right, you guys, I have kept you long enough on a Saturday, Friday night. Y'all, everybody go and watch Kim, Kim Kim's Convenience, okay? Go and binge it. On Netflix. Weekend. On Netflix. You will love it and you will thank me. I absolutely love Mr. Kim. I love him. I love him, really. Yes, we've had Kendall twice. This yes. past Vista Cruise and then the, the last minute, four day. I do like that part. Uh, bye. bye. Oh, funniest thing. Okay, she, she, yeah, she does this. Bye. Do it. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, the captain's making his announcements and he's like, Yes, we're heading northeast and the Mediterranean. With his accent with his and sick he's drumming Italian on. Accent. Yeah. And then he goes, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Because yes. it was so unexpected and we were in the middle yeah. of trivia. And like everybody was intently listening to him because it shuts off everybody's microphones. Yeah. And so the whole room erupted. I think I have it. I think I got it. But it was, it was funny because I had the camera. In trivia, I don't like to... I don't like to film trivia because then you guys can cheat. And y'all, you might be competing with me and this girl needs a ship on a stick and I'm going to win. So Thank you for joining us for the first time, Bailey. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys. Y'all know I'll talk to you forever. Um, cruising on August 30th in September. I was hoping it was out of gal. I was like, oh, no. Mm. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie, I'm so sorry. No, we're going to be in Florida. Yes. I swear, every single time, every time we like our ships in the night, we pass. Every time. Yes. We will work it out. We will. So, all right, you guys. I have talked your ear off. We have dumped a whole bunch of information in this video. Tomorrow morning is the Carnival Vista 10 a.m. sneak peek. Remember, it's a sneak peek. It's not the actual cruise vlogs. So, usually, typically, my female watchers like that one. It's um, a longer vlog. It is. It's long. Oh. Get your cup of coffee. Settle in. 10 a.m. Central. And um, then I'm going to get the boarding day vlog up early next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. And what else was there? There was, oh, outfit of the day video. I have one for adventure and one for, for carnival. Do you all want that? Somebody let me know. If you don't, it's fine. But we had two amazing cruises. Oh, yeah. So much fun. I'm so mm -hmm. glad cruising is back. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> and, uh, uh, just, uh. A lot of fun, and I'm glad cruising is back. Oh, and yes. As we've seen, you can cruise safely. You, you may have an isolated incident or two. But they're learning how to handle it. But they're learning how to handling it, handle it, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just 
thankful that it's back. Yes, and so unbelievably grateful that we could be on the first two cruises. I'm grateful to this man because it was really work. Look, y'all, we run our own business and work, it was hard. Yes. It was hard it was and he hard. made it happen and our son worked extra hard and had an accident and all of that. He's fine. He's fine. Yes, it was a hit and run, but he is fine. Mm -hmm. His car is getting fixed next week. It's been crazy, but you made it happen. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was awesome. I'm so glad we get to come. And then August 30th, I'm very excited. And then we get to see all our friends on September 4th. It's awesome. And do you know what's scary? In all of this, Atlantis was awesome. <laughs> In the vlogs, we're going to get those up, I promise you guys, because it was amazing. You, It was I, outstanding. I, I would go back to Atlantis. Mm, absolutely. I brought my own food. Yes, it was you fantastic. You went for the cheap, because goodness, that place was pricey. Yes. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. I sincerely appreciate you spending your time with me. Those of you who gave us the super chat, you are awesome. Thank you very, very much. We sincerely appreciate it. And our moderators... Thank you very, very much for coming in and spending time with us yes. and uh, keeping everybody in line. And uh, other vloggers that have popped in, thank you very much for joining us. I am really, I'm loving these live chats. This won't be the last one before Magic. We're going to try and get one probably every couple of weeks. We'll try and pop in with a live, let mm -hmm. you know what's going on for the Magic and the Mardi Gras and uh, that kind of thing. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, you guys. I sincerely appreciate you and we will see you next time yes yeah. we'll see you on the ship we'll see you around the ship that's right now i'm gonna make this really awkward and climb up over my table and turn and, off the video and try not to freak out the cat doing yeah. it because she will give me the claw good night you guys good night thank you